It's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia, DIY balloon art, and market with balloons. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really fun fish fascinator that goes great with any tropical party or under the sea party or just when you want to have fun. So to do this, we are going to start with our headband with our 260 tied onto it like I've shown you before and our fascinator base. Now we are going to make a fish. But before we make the fish, let's prepare the seaweed. So what I have here is I have a 160 fully inflated with a good burp. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half, find my center, and now I'm going to kind of put some pressure while I spiral this together. Just like that. And just like so, okay? And now I'm going to do this again on a second 260. Stretch. Fold. And spiral. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the half, the midway point of this, and I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And I like to put it on opposite sides where the where the nozzles are, where the tie point is. I don't know why, just for some reason I do. And then I also, when I put it on there, I like to have it so that I have like different colors instead of, instead of just having blue to blue and blue to blue. Okay, so now you notice on this little, um, on this particular uh, base, when I took the extra little, little stick off, I deflated it and I left the, the 260 there. And that is so that I can just wrap it around my seaweed just like that. Okay. And then I want to kind of shape it in a little bit. So it gives it just a little bit of, a little bit of shape and definition. Okay. So now we have our little, our little uh, seaweed patch coming up. And actually we could go ahead and tie it onto the headband right now as well. So if you remember, we just kind of stretch that around the bubble and bring it up. Tie it in like that, and then you see that's just kind of centered there, and then we have this. And this is good because we're going to need this to tie the fish in. Okay, so now we can just put that to the side for a moment, stay, and actually, you know, I'm going to put it down here so that it's not distracting you while I show you how to make the fish. Okay, so to make the fish, what we're going to do is we're first going to start by making two pinch twists. That's going to be the lips, fish lips. Okay, so we're going to take the first bubble. And then we're going to take the nozzle and basically kind of connect it to the where the, the bubbles twist it off. So it makes a pinch twist or an ear twist. And then we're going to do it again. Just like that. So now we have to, just like that. Okay. And now we're going to go, I don't know, basically like a little four finger spread and make a bubble. And then we're going to make two loops. One and two. Okay, and that's his back tail. And then we're going to come back up and wrap back into the mouth, like that. Okay, and now we're just going to make his little his little fins. So we're going to make a tiny little bubble, and then two little loops. One, two. Okay, now this right here is very very tight and it's very fragile. So we have a couple of of, of options here. We can either try to squeeze the air down enough that we can deflate it, or we can just like see how it goes. Um, this is definitely like, this is about as big as it can possibly get and it's very likely to pop. So it's easier if we kind of preempt it and get rid of that piece and deflate it rather than letting it pop, you know, on a kid or something like that. Okay, now I'm going to keep control of this little stringy piece right there because what I want to do is I want to put those in and then I want to, I want to kind of wrap this string around the, the back fins, just like that, just to kind of hold it all tight together. Okay, so you see, here we have a little fishy. Okay, and let's get our seaweed back here, but before we do that, hmm, well, I have dark blue. I lost my purple Sharpie. Okay, so we're just going to make some little eyes. And since I can't draw, we don't really generally do much more than dots. There we go. See? 
Okay, and now remember we left these here so that we could use it to tie the fish in. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to tie it in from the tail piece. So we're just going to kind of put that in and just wrap those around it. For now, don't worry where the seaweed's ending up. We'll kind of manicure that after we get it tied in. Okay, and just, you know, kind of figure eight it around that flower there. And you just kind of get it to sitting where you want. Okay, isn't that cute? And now I need uh, somebody to model this. Carlos, would you mind? I've got my assistant Carlos here who is going to show you how fun it is to wear a fish hat. Carlos, you look great in fish. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. So guys, if you like this, don't forget to like my channel, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment. Tell me what else you want to see. I'm doing videos every single week, so I might just take your suggestion. Or let's just have a conversation. Tell me more about you and what you do. All right, well, I am looking forward to seeing you on the next video, and thank you so much.